Hi everyone and welcome, welcome to Microsoft's Flight Simulator 2020. I have a little treat for all of my fellow Swiss guys. Um, we are flying around Lucerne today, so yeah, just want to take a look at it, like in the evening. So we are starting around 8 p.m. That's uh, pretty decent, I think. And we will make our way around here from the military airfield to the city of, Lu of Lucerne. Wow, already. <laughs> Talking is already difficult. <laughs> oh man. But yeah, um, so yeah, for all, you, for all you Souls fans out there, you know the Lucerne as a Halbert class weapon. It is in fact a city in Switzerland, so <laughs> we will take a look around and uh, yeah just show off the game and that gives me a bit of an opportunity to talk about this particular flight simulator as well as DCS maybe uh, we will have to see if we come to talk about that but yeah so what have we done so far in this simulator we stayed mostly in Switzerland we did take a look at stuff uh, just to see how nice everything looks, how well stuff is modeled, um, and stuff like that. But yeah, this, my friends, is pretty much the city of Lucerne unfolding here below us. And although not what I want to do particularly while flying, but we will switch to the outside perspective so you can have a good look around here. Yes. There we go. And yeah, we will just take a look while the sun is setting to our right. Uh, just take a little look around Lucerne and the suburbs of Lucerne. It looks gorgeous. That's the first thing that I want to say. Honestly, uh, obviously the higher up you are, the nicer things are looking, the better your FPS are. But that was kind of expected, right? We did come across certain stuff that we were like, okay, that looks a little bit strange or odd, but to be honest, um, we didn't really expect uh, the areas, especially the areas where we live in, like really out in the valleys and stuff. We didn't expect that to be very well modeled or yeah. So we are happy with the landmarks that are in. And as you can see from up here, it looks absolutely gorgeous, doesn't it? Uh, disclaimer, I'm running on high settings, not on ultra. My system can't handle that with a stable frame rate, so... <laughs> that's why. Um, but that's okay, I'm uh, very much okay with that. But yeah, look at it. I mean, we will definitely take a look at certain bridges uh, just to see how well they are modeled. But yeah, I just want to show off the town a little bit, especially for the guys that live in or around the town, the city of Lucerne. So you guys get an aerial view in the evening while the sun is setting. I think that's pretty much... It has to be done, right? <laughs> so yeah. As you can see, the mountains and the lakes and stuff, everything looks the way you'd expect, the way you know your surroundings. Um, it's only getting to be a bit difficult once you're close to the ground and start to look out for certain houses or certain alleyways. In our area, even the streets were not made out of asphalt. There were just like <laughs> little ways out in the wild, I guess. But that's okay, that's okay. From up above, it looks absolutely stunning. And it is very much fun to just explore your hometown or just your your country, I guess. Like, we are exploring Switzerland. It's just a whole new perspe perspective, right? Um, we did enjoy going up into the mountains, uh, mountains that we have done some hiking in or that we just enjoy. Uh, in general to hang out on like not really 
all of the tourist essential mountains, I guess you can call that. <laughs> but more so the the stuff that is around us. Um, well, let me tell you, it is absolutely gorgeous. As well as this. I mean, look at it. You can get a good view. Uh, we probably will switch to night at some point so you can see the lights and stuff because in my opinion that looks very much like it's glorious let's put it that way um but yeah uh, coming back to what we've done uh, pretty much what i've talked about and what we saw is you need a little bit of a beastlier pc than we thought you might would um but none of us was really struggling, to be honest. Um, some of us have to play a little bit on the lower settings, but most, mostly uh, the middle ground uh, is where it's at. And it still looks very good with the middle settings, to be honest. And you can see, I guess you would call it the highway, right? <laughs> <laughs> or for the Germans, our Autobahn, which is not the same. We have speed limits everywhere, not like in Germany. But yeah, this is the military base I started on. Let's go around. There we go. Let's go a bit closer to the city now. And look at that. Would you look at that? It really, really really looks amazing. I, as I said, I'm stunned still by what they have achieved with this flight sim. I mean, the graphics are one thing, but the flight models actually feel very good. Very, very good. And um, since I fly in DCS most of the time, right? Uh, I was looking for a plane that would, would be very fun to fly, and I found this little puppy and oh yeah these rolls man these feel more like fighter jets or the whole handling of this plane is more like a fighter jet than <laughs> than anything else it's it rolls nice and you can do cool maneuvers that's pretty awesome um so yeah i mean with the lake here in the background and everything and the mountains I, I think those of you who never understood why I still live like in the countryside of Switzerland, the view that you have from here, keep that in mind, and then you have a small village where it's very quiet, but in the evening you go out on your veranda and stuff, and your evening coffee, Whew. and you have this view, right? Yes, you're farther away, but jeez, Louise, it is. That's the whole reason why I, why I still live in the countryside. I need the calm and like really relaxing feeling, um, and those views. I just I don't feel very well in towns. That that's pretty much my whole reasoning behind it, <laughs> because I need the calm and yeah just being able to go for a walk for like an hour or so without having to go outside of a city just go outside your door and walk around so yeah <laughs> that's a little bit of trivia info for you guys but yeah look at this man it is absolutely stunning honestly as i said i'm still blown away on how much detail they were able to add in or I guess how much detail the algorithm did <laughs> calculate, right? But yeah, I mean, this is pretty much, it's not like spot on, right? It's not like 100%, but it's still very, very close. And as I said, the higher you are, I'll be going to the external view here for a little bit again while we explore. Um, yeah, the higher up you are, the better it looks, the more believable it is, the less like little things you spot that are not okay. I'm perfectly fine with that, as I said, that's a-okay for me. Um, we did venture out a little bit 
uh, to the outsides of Lucerne, but that's okay, right? <laughs> you can still see loads of stuff. And I, as I said personally, I really do enjoy just exploring a little bit and getting the bird's eye view of towns we normally walk around in. That's really, not only just refreshing, but it's, it's really, really awesome to see stuff from above. And the scenery up here is just mind-boggling sometimes. Then you see stuff that you recognize and you're like, oh cool, huh, so this is how this particular spot, like, spot looks like from above. And that's absolutely a treat in a lot of ways. Now, I need to orientate myself a little bit, because I am wondering now um, about the train station. I think it's dead ahead, actually. Yeah, yeah, that looks like it, actually. The main train station of Lucerne should be around here. You can see the tracks and everything. Definitely, yeah. Okay. Well, it is... It definitely is in the right spot. That is nice. That is good to see. Although it's strangely modeled, but... Yeah, definitely recognizable what it should be, so... That's okay. Pretty nice. Very nice indeed. So that means we should come across a very important bridge. Let's not crash into stuff though. Huh. Okay, that's what I thought. <laughs> Those are not really in here, huh? Or like not highly detailed. Ah, that is okay. That is okay, I guess. Yeah, it would be pretty hard to model those. Pretty much had to do that by hand, I would assume. Alright. That's not too bad, though. Definitely recognizable, though. And yeah. Pretty awesome indeed. Pretty awesome. We didn't know what to expect, to be honest, um, when we started flying around in Switzerland, but there's a lot of stuff that is worth exploring, let me tell you that. Definitely. This would be like the old part of the city. Which is still very, very cool modeled. Looks pretty decent. Nice. I like it. <laughs> but yeah, so the, the cool thing is, really, you can go everywhere you want, right? You have the whole world to explore. And that's a huge reason why I think it's very much a huge recommended recommendation. Um, yeah, definitely. You have the smaller, uh, or also the military bases. Uh, you have the really small, like, where would be a good good um, example of this um, let's see what am I thinking about there we go we have another uh, military here this is a very special one that's where I saw my first fighter jet <laughs> Um, yeah, that's another story. <laughs> Just watched it, don't get me wrong, where I first was able to watch some fighter jets start and land. Um, back in the day when I was very little. But yeah, uh, I mean, we can explore other cities and stuff. Uh, if you want to see something in particular, leave a comment down below. Let me know what you would like to see. Um, 
not only Switzerland, we have the whole world. So yeah, if you know a very special place uh, that I need to take a look at, let me know. I will happily, happily take a look at that. But yeah, sometimes you have like this. This one is just basically <laughs> a field. <laughs> But yeah, that's really, really awesome. Um, yeah, that concludes our little look into Lucerne. I hope you have enjoyed it. And as I said, let me know which locations you want to see. This will do it for today. Thank you very much for watching. And as always, take care. Bye.